Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love readings for each zodiac sign. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So I've already shuffled the deck. Let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Okay, how you're seeing your partner. You have the Judgment card here with the Moon card, the partner or the person of interest. Um, you have the Moon card, the King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Some of you guys may be dealing with a water sign. Uh, for others of you, it could be a Cancer, Pisces type of energy, as I do see a lot of water in these cards. Um, okay, so as far as how you're seeing your partner at the present time or how you'll be seeing them, uh, for the remainder of January going into February, there's the judgment card signifying that there is a decision to be made. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you are seeing them as very difficult to understand or you're not really reading them correctly. Um, they can say things that come off uh, very different to you from what they're really trying to tell you. So there's a lot of miscommunication. I feel that there's a lot of heavy emotional energy here some some of you guys may be dealing with a uh, partner from the past um again that is kind of gaslighting you um or you could be gaslighting them giving them or telling them that they do want to put effort or that you want to put effort but still being unsure and for others of you it could just represent that you still have very heavy energy um love feelings for them and you're wanting to give them the opportunity, yet they, you're refusing to make a choice. You're refusing to go all in or you're refusing to cut them out completely. Now, how your partner is viewing you for this month, you have the Page of Pentacles here, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So I feel that for some of you guys, the reason why you're unable to detach yourself from this person if you are dealing with the next partner, because there is a lot of, you see them very immaturely. Um, this could be just an attitude that they have. It could be a personality type uh, that they are very um, immature. And again, this could be your energy as well. So it it could be you, the one that is undecisive for the month of June. Go, sorry, for the month of January going into February. Um, as they're seeing you currently as being very immature, uh, they're starting to think or feel that you see them or that you're overburdened or that you're seeing them uh, a bit overburdened. With the Page of Swords... Um, you're not, again, there's not clear communication. It's very, so to them, it could be that this month and going into February, they can be a bit overwhelmed. It could be work-wise. It could be family dynamic. It could be the relationship itself. And based on that, um, you are to the point of being very either impatient or unemotional. And you're having difficulty being sweet to them. So as an example, if they communicate something to you or you're having a conversation with them, you can come off as being rude. And I feel that it's not so much you being purposely rude. It's just that you're kind of either fed up or you're not wanting to baby them anymore and want to get your point across. And the only way to do that for you, you may be feeling like needing to be very blunt uh, again, with the Page of Swords, very quick communication. Um, I feel that in the present, um, your partner or the person of interest, uh, for those of you guys that are single, I feel that for some of you guys, you are a bit intimidated as they may have more than one suitor or more than a few people that they're talking to. And you, you're kind of not wanting to deal with that. So you're just very straightforward and being very honest um, to see if they reciprocate or to see if they actually put effort into getting to know you better. Um, but again, there is a bit of immature type of energy. Now, this could be your partner or this could be you, Aries, as it is a general reading. But with the pages, there's a lot of communication that's coming through. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with the person that 
is working and also studying. And there is a feeling of overwhelmingness on their part. And there's a moment of panic for you. Uh, you may be feeling left, left out. You may be feeling like they're just not giving you the attention you want. Nonetheless, I think that it has nothing to do with that in itself. It has more to do that they are very overburdened or they're currently having a lot of issues to deal with that they don't really have a lot of time or to put effort into the relationship. Um, I do see that there is a decision that needs to be made. Uh, for some of you guys, it's completely walking away from this connection. For others of you, it could just represent having to make the choice. You know, yes, I'm going to continue getting to know this person and see where it leads. Um, but understanding that you can rush into love, you can rush into relationships. And you must also understand that other people do have other responsibilities. Again, this could be vice versa as it is a general reading. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see each other soon. Bye.